Hi, I'm Steven from the American Book Center in Amsterdam. Uh, I will be printing a book for you today on this machine. Uh, we're in the store. Um, we have one uh, machine here and one in The Hague. Um, I will walk you through a little bit what we're doing, how it's going to print, uh, and I will uh, show you also um, a little bit how the system works here. Uh, we can print uh, books from a, a database, uh, from a cloud, um, and download them. Uh, and we can print books from files that people print in. This is the screen that I'm showing you now, is the screen that we would put the information in that when we get files from a customer. Uh, it prints from two files, uh, PDF files, one for the book block and one for the cover. Um, we enter in the dimensions, the author and the title, and some other information, and then it is, goes into our catalog, and we can print it from there. Um, here you see a couple of books that we have in our catalog. This is a project where we had a couple of students uh, design a book with a lot of different covers, because it's easy to make uh, custom-made books. Um, just take one book block and make various covers for it, for instance. Um, what, uh, that's actually most of the business that we do. We print mostly books for customers. What I'll be printing today, though, is a book that I download from the network. Uh, you can search through it with an ISBN on there. Uh, this is the book we'll be printing today. Now, normally, it would take you a couple of minutes to download the book because that's a bit boring to watch. Uh, I've pre-downloaded it, so I will be printing it already downloaded. But normally, I would have clicked the download button. It would be a couple of minutes, and then I could print the book. Uh, now it's ready here on the overview screen. I get some information that's handy for me when I'm printing. Uh, it shows me uh, the glue level, which I'll explain in a moment. It shows me the dimensions. Uh, I can change stuff around and I, I can log in here and do more advanced technical things if something goes wrong, if I want to adjust a cut or whatever, more technical things. Normally I just go, I click on the big green button that um, starts the printing process, which I have done just now, and it will send the printing job to both of the printers. There is a printer on this side that is a full color printer that prints the cover. It is on a very specific kind of paper that the ink goes into it straight away and you can grab the book as soon as it comes out of the machine without the ink coming off on your hands, which is convenient, I think we'll agree. Um, the other side we have a black and white printer now, there are also models coming up, they're busy with it, uh, that print color insides. Uh, we still have the black and white in any case. And this prints double-sided copies, which it feeds into the machine. It goes up through uh, these wheels here and it puts the book block together. Uh, if you take a look at the sheets, you'll see that there's white on the outside, a lot of it. What it does is, with the dimensions that we entered into the machine, it shifts the text aside a bit um, and leaves white on the sides to be cut off. Because you can make books up to about A4, but not quite A4, because uh, I'll show you, the cover gets printed on an A3, which means if you have a very thick book, then you can't use the entire, a, uh, a, uh, a, you can't have two A4s because there would be no space for a spine. So the book prints up to about A4, can print also a lot smaller. Should be, yeah. Yeah. All of this over here. Now this is maybe a little bit the boring bit. Now it's just printing the, the book block. The cover here is moving through the outside. It looks like uh, a, how a cover would look if you ripped it off a book, basically. Um, and this is how people also hand it to, in to us um, when they uh, want their own book printed. We do some of the minor formatting we can do in the store, so we can make sort of like a minimal cover for them. If it gets too advanced, then we refer to an external designer, because that is hard to, to, to handle within a store. Uh, so we don't really tackle that ourselves. And also with, with editing as far as the insides of a book go, uh, goes, that's just way too much. But a lot of people have get help from friends, or uh, so a lot of people have that sort of covered. And we get a lot of different kind of things. We get learning materials from schools. We get um, people printing a book for a family event or somebody retiring, uh, collecting their blog posts. Um, it's a, a lot of the th uh, thesis also. We get a lot of students printing their thesis here. Uh, and what is handy about the machine is that you can have um, 
one uh, copy printed, correct it, and then easily up upload a corrected version. So it is a, a very good thing for also for books that are in progress. Um, we've been printing about since 2013, I think, roundabout. Uh, we were one of the first in the, in a, the mainland, on the mainland in Europe. Uh, there is now also some in France, some more, so it's spreading. It is uh, originally um, a US machine. It was made in the US by On Demand Books. And um, that's where most of the machines are. Uh, but there are also now uh, more and more machines on the European mainland. The printer that we have isn't the fastest. I know that there are other machines that have a different printer coupled to it, because uh, this is not, um, um, not all, them, all of them have the same printer attached. Uh, and so it's sort of, the, the printer sort of optional which one you would want uh, with it, because actually it's just a regular printer, although one that's been put at the right size to fit into the machine. But it's not tied to, those two machines are not tied together. That was the last sheet, so now the book block is ready. The cover is also already in the machine. It's uh, run through the outside and is now lying here flat. It's a bit tough to spot from the side, but is there uh, on what we call the binding table. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the second phase. It will squish together on the book block to hold it together nice and tight. It will flip it around, move it um, up so the glue pot can go under it, bind it with glue, and then press it into the cover. Press it together to make sure that it's nice and tightly bound. The little pot under there is actually uh, the trickiest part when you're printing sometimes, because it has to be at the right temperature to bind. Uh, as soon as the glue cools down, it solidifies. Um, so you have to keep it at the right temperature to bind. And there are some little knives in front of it here that actually roughen up the side a little bit so that the glue is, has, an, has a better time uh, attaching uh, to the side of the book. Now it holds it and it solidifies very fast, so at this point the glue is already solidified. And it's going to hand it over to the bottom part of the machine so it can it, cut it to size there. Now if I wanted to, I could start a second book actually already in the top part because the, uh, the part that the book block is put into is back in its original position. So I could start a second book right now. Uh, what is now going to happen, it's going to cut it to size. Uh, the, there's a really big knife at the bottom that can handle up to about 650 pages. Uh, and it's going to be pressed from the side to, uh, with really uh, large force um, to cut the three, an ex the three uh, useless parts of it. One of the fun parts is that this machine also uh, makes block notes. Uh, that is to say, there's a container down here that all the extra paper falls into. Um, and because that's partly glued, uh, it also sort of, as a side effect, creates a whole bunch of notebooks. So we are never without a notebook uh, in the store ever again. Yeah, yeah. 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 
And now it's ready, and it's going to just drop out of the machine, ready to read. Uh, the initial model actually used to have a little um, a basket under it, which was very old school and looked very charming, but this is a bit more practical. And this is the update they made for the second, uh, second version. And there it is.